Hey, hello guys. Good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to IQ Civil Science Academy. Today's topic is Urban Heat Island and it will be delivered by Dr. Sachin Kadam. So, today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. And if you are living in any metro city, like if you are living in Gohati, if you are living in Kolkata, Chennai, Mumbai, Kochi, Delhi, Jaipur, or any major or big city, every one of you have already experienced this phenomenon known as urban heat island so it will be explained by dr sachin kadam faculty at iq civil science academy guwahati this is about iq civil science academy uh, we are running many programs in collaboration with government of assam like training for 60 meritorious student at assam administrative staff college in 2021 then giving coaching sponsored by Directorate of Welfare of Tea and XT Garden Tribes at Assam Administrative Training Institute 19 to 20. Then pre-examination -exam, pre coaching program sponsored by Government of Assam to 50 meritorious student again at Assam Administrative Training Institute 2019 to 20. And uh, so there are like we are running different programs in collaboration with government of Assam under Assam Administrative Staff College from 2018-19 to 2021. So you can definitely trust our quality of IQ Civil Science Academy. This is about our uh, Google rating. It is more than 4.9 star. That is very rare that you get uh, this such a good review on Google. And this is the elite panel of faculties from Sachin Kadam who is talking to you to Vikram Singh sir, who is studying history. So we are starting new batches at Gohati offline and all India online from 16th August and 22nd August. So if you go, want to get offline or online admission, please contact Mr. Anuj Singh, our director, Vishal Sharma, our admissions manager and Anuradha Saikia. This is our YouTube channel. You should like this video, share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel just pe aap ye video dekh rahe ho. So that's it guys. So this is all about IQ Civil Science Academy which is in Guwahati offline and All India online. So the today's topic is Urban Heat Island. Now why I chose this Urban Heat Island topic today? Because on 15th of May 2022, if you here you can see Two areas in Delhi recorded temperatures close to 50 degrees Celsius. That is too much. Not whole Delhi. Delhi. I am only talking about few areas or two areas in Delhi that experienced uh, the extremely high temperature uh, that is up to 50 degrees Celsius. Okay. And several parts of the country are reeling under heat wave condition. Our uh, senior faculty, Mr. Narendra Sharma, sir, he already explained you heat wave concept in detail. Fine. So you can go, go to those videos and watch them. There you can see heat wave topic. Fine. So several parts of the country are reeling under heat wave conditions. Cities especially are lot hotter than rural areas. If you are living in a city, you already know that if you go to rural area, you will find cooler rural area areas are cooler and urban areas are hotter we know this right so it is because of urban heat island effect which is a new phenomenon like urban floods urban flood is the new phenomenon of modern world isse pehle urban flood exist nahi karte the because of urbanization urban floods are increasing right so what exactly urban heat islands are so the sun's heat, pehla point aapko samujh mein aagaya, urban heat island is something when urban areas experience more heat compared to surrounding rural areas, we call them urban island effect. Now what exactly it is? The sun's heat and light reach urban and rural areas in the same way. So this is area A, it is urban area, this is area B. This is rural area. So amount of sunlight reaching urban area and rural area is same. That is 100 unit and 100 unit. Fine. But the difference in temperature is mainly because of the surfaces in which 
in each environment and how they absorb and hold heat so what happens in case of urban areas all these 100 units of sunlight will be absorbed by different surfaces made up of asphalt made up of concrete and they will, they will hold heat while in case of rural areas this sunlight will be absorbed by the plant and that will be stored as energy in the form of glucose or some amount of sunlight will be used by plant to evaporate water rural areas hold less heat and urban areas hold more heat so obviously the temperature of urban areas will increase and temperature of rural areas will be lower it is that simple i will explain you don't worry so this is urban island heat island effect here you can see urban cores retain heat for a variety of reasons creating a heat island effect canadian researchers illustrated the difference between rural areas leafy neighborhoods and downtown areas with the following summer example here you can see this is a rural area where temperature is 85 degree fahrenheit sub urban residential area matlab when you are going towards the main city you can call them uh, like satellite towns the temperature is 86 degree fahrenheit now if you come to the commercial uh, places their temperature is 88 degree fahrenheit and if you go to downtown that is the real urban area you will find the temperature 92 degree fahrenheit and again it will go down if there is a park if there is suburban re residential area and rural farmland so this is the core area of urban region and the temperature of this core area is the highest so normally these core areas are areas are like heart of the city why because heart of the city may cost of land will be more so there will be many high rise buildings there will be no place for the trees there will be no place for the greeneries so obviously everything is made up of concrete that will absorb sunlight and hold heat that's why heart or heart of the city downtown experience the highest amount of urban highland effect now see dark roads and asphalt parking lots retain heat then dark rooftop retain heat nowadays what we are doing we are painting rooftop with white color if you experience this why because when you paint rooftop with white color the white color reflects all the sunlight so the temperature of rooftop remains cooler so dark rooftops retain heat lack of trees means less shade and less evapotranspiration to help cool the air now what is the meaning of evapotranspiration ek plant hai suppose i will show you this is the plant okay now sunlight is falling on the leaves of the plant roots of this plant are absorbing water and salt water and salt move upward from a high water table so from water table water and salt is moving up but because salt cannot evaporate the salt will remain in the soil and water will evaporate from the soil as well as some water will be absorbed by these roots and this water will travel to the leaves and from leaves it will evaporate so we call this process transpiration evaporation of water from the leaves of plant is known as transpiration and because it is evaporation so we call this evapotranspiration what we call this evapotranspiration clear let's go back so dark roads and asphalt parking lots retain heat dark rooftop retain heat lack of trees means less shade and less evapotranspiration to help cool the air because see when water converts into vapor and it is released into air so obviously the temperature of air will reduce air will become more cooler that's why we use cooler right 
हीट ट्रैप्ड बाय बिल्डिंग्स कीप्स अर्बन कोर्स वार्म एट नाइट अब एक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट मैं आपको बता देता हूं सुनिएगा ये जो अलग अलग सरफेसेस होते हैं ना दे एब्सॉर्ब एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सनलाइट ओके एंड दे होल्ड दिस एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हीट इन डे टाइम बिकॉज इन डे टाइम देर इज अ कंटिन्यूस इनकमिंग ऑफ सनलाइट तो दे विल कीप एब्सॉर्बिंग सनलाइट एंड दे विल होल्ड दिस हीट एज सुन एज नाइट अराइजेस दिस हीट विल बी रिलीज बैक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इंफ्रा रेड रेडिएशन सो एट नाइट हीट विल बी रिलीज तो वॉट विल हैपन हियर दीज आर द दिस इज द कोर ऑफ द अर्बन एरिया विच इज मेड अप ऑफ हीट एब्सॉर्बिंग सर्फेसेस तो ऑल दीज हीट एब्सॉर्बिंग सर्फेसेस विल एब्सॉर्ब सन लाइट ड्यूरिंग डे टाइम एंड एट नाइट दे विल स्टार्ट इमिटिंग हीट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इंफ्रा रेड रेडिएशन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इमिशन वो क्या होगा वहां का टेम्परेचर बढ़ जाएगा सो हीट ट्रैप्ड बाय बिल्डिंग कीप्स अर्बन कोर वॉमर एट नाइट वेस्ट हीट फ्रॉम फैक्ट्रीज बिल्डिंग्स एंड व्हीकल्स एड्स टू द हीट आईलैंड इफेक्ट so it is not only sunlight when your uh, vehicle is moving engine is running so obviously engine is he- emitting heat then hamari jo buildings hai hamare building mein bhi to hum rehte hai to building mein se bhi heat emit hoti hai even factories emit heat right so along with the sunlight factories buildings and vehicles also create heat and that heat is hold by the urban areas which leads to increase in their temperature impermeable surface reduce surface moisture now see these areas are impermeable means water cannot percolate down so agar rainfall ho bhi gaya to immediately that water will evaporate so there is no chance for uh, water evaporation for a longer duration theek hai ye bhi ek important point hai aur ek point yaad rakhiye all these urban areas emit co2 okay they emit co2 i will explain you see this is urban area okay sunlight fall on this urban area these urban areas will hold heat now these urban areas also emit co2 right because population concentration is very high then there are factories there are industries they will emit co2 so the concentration of co2 will be much higher in the upper atmosphere of urban areas so at night at night these urban areas will start emitting heat they will start emitting heat but this heat will be trapped by co2 because co2 is a greenhouse gas so this heat remains within urban area because of the high emission of co2 and because of the surfaces in the urban areas that are responsible for holding heat that's why you experience urban heat island effect so you can see here dark roads and asphalt parking lots retain heat dark rooftop retain heat lack of trees means less shade and less evapotranspiration to help cool the air heat trapped by buildings keeps urban cores warmer at night west heat from factories buildings and vehicles adds to the heat island effect and impermeable surface reduces surface moisture and that's why it leads to the urban heat island so simple meaning of urban heat island is the average temperature of urban areas is more compared to the surrounding rural areas and it is because urban areas are made up of roads asphalt parking lots which retain heat as well as there are less trees so there is no shed 
and there is no evapotranspiration that's why heat get traps in these different structures made um, that are uh, created in urban areas and that's why urban areas feel more temperature at night not only heat from sunlight sun is trapped by these urban areas but heat from the factories buildings and vehicles is also created and that heat remains in the urban areas and that is the reason ki urban areas experience urban heat island effect that is average temperature of urban areas is more compared to the surrounding rural areas so this is all about urban area i explained you the conceptual part we will go ahead now see nasa's ecosystem space born thermal radiometer experiment which is also known as ecostress captured an image shortly before midnight of 5 may covering an area of about 12350 square kilometers which showed a large red patch around delhi and smaller red patches around neighboring cities of sonipat panipat jind and bhiwani so i will show you how exactly we come to know ki where exactly urban heat island effect is visible so this is the satellite image of india if here you see uh, everything is green right but if you move because it is north east currently we are in guwahati so obviously it will be cooler but now if you come here to the mainland india now the color is changing now it became yellow and now it is going towards the dra, uh, red so you can see nearby patna there is a red patch nearby rasra there is a red patch so if you go to delhi this is new delhi because now it is monsoon season to delhi mein red patch aapko nahi dikh raha hai otherwise delhi is red so or you can simply see this is these are the different red patches which are normally near the urban areas okay and ye jo aapko dikh rahe these are the monsoon monsoon winds blowing uh, across india it's so beautiful na wow aapko acha lag raha hai acha laga taali bajao thodi si ta taali bajao taali ye guwahati mein barish nahi ho rahi hai pure mainland india mein ho rahi hai dekho kaise ये मानसून विंड्स जा रहे हैं जा रहे हैं और अल्टीमेटली यहाँ वापस आ रहे हैं ऐसे मिक्सअप होके सो दिस इज अर्बन हीट आइलैंड इंपैक्ट यू कैन सी इन दीज एरिया ओके सो वी केम अबाउट द अर्बन हीट आइलैंड इफेक्ट इट इज वेल नोन दैट डिफरेंट मेट्रो सिटीज एक्सपीरियंस अर्बन हीट आइलैंड इफेक्ट बट ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू नासा गेव अस इमेज ऑफ डेली विच शोड अ लार्ज रेड पैच अराउंड डेली let me see if we can get the image of 5th of may if we can change the date i guess we can't change the date let it be fine okay let it be leave it no issue so this is uh, why urban heat island effect came into existence or in news these red patches implying higher temperature where the heat islands while the rural areas around the cities witnessing lower temperatures eco stress is an instrument with a radiometer now remember what is radiometer radiometer is an instrument present on a remote sensing satellite that is used to capture images of the earth or you can simply say radiometer is a camera on रिमोट सेंसिंग सैटेलाइट दैट कैप्चर इमेजेस ऑफ अर्थ अभी जो मैंने आपको इमेज दिखाई दैट इमेज इज कैप्चर बाय रेडियोमीटर ओनली ऑन द रिमोट सेंसिंग सैटेलाइट सो इको स्ट्रेस इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट विथ अ रेडियोमीटर इट कैन मेजर टेम्परेचर ऑन द ग्राउंड एज अपोज टू द एयर टेम्परेचर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हा सी देर आर टू थिंग्स ऑन अर्थ ना वन इज एयर एंड अनादर इज वॉट इज अनादर one is air and another is your land so when you are capturing images of earth from a height so there is a possibility ki you may capture the uh, image of you may capture the image of um, air also or temperature of the air so eco stress do not captures the image of temperature of air instead it captures the image of Uh, temperature of the surface of the earth that's why it can be used to determine or find out 
different uh, what we can say urban heat islands on the earth it is tasked with measuring the temperature of plants and understanding their water requirements and the impact of climate on them it also measures the requirement of water by the plant now what is urban heat island effect you already know we will just go through this content now these keywords are very important uh, urban heat island is a localized event urban heat island is a temporary event urban heat island is not experienced by whole city itself but it is experienced by certain packets within a city and what are those certain packets those certain packets are mainly the core of the city heart of the city within a city within a city experience higher heat load than surrounding or neighboring areas on the same day the variations are mainly due to aise variations kyu aate because heat remaining trapped within locations that often resemble concrete jungle so remember concrete jungles are responsible for trapping heat and green jungles are responsible for creating food by using sunlight instead of trapping heat ab temperature kitna hota hai surrounding ke comparison mein aap dekho na is news mein humne dekha tha ki two areas in delhi recorded temperatures close to 50 degree celsius where the average temperature of delhi was 45 to 44 degree celsius to average temperature urban heat island mein kitne se zyada ho sakta hai the temperature variation can range between 3 to 5 degrees celsius okay chalo aage why are cities hotter than rural areas number 1 very very important uh, this is important for your preliminary examination as well as for your mains examination ki why cities are more hotter than the rural areas remember the keywords number 1 rural areas have relatively larger green cover in the form of plantations farmlands forest and trees so more green cover to less temperature urban areas mein green cover kam hai so वहां पे टेम्परेचर बढ़ जाता है नाउ दिस ग्रीन कवर प्लेज अ मेजर रोल इन रेगुलेटिंग हीट हाउ इट प्लेज अ मेजर रोल नंबर वन ग्रीन कवर प्रोवाइड्स शेड नंबर टू ग्रीन कवर डू नॉट होल्ड हीट यही नहीं ग्रीन कवर आल्सो हेल्प्स टू कूल डाउन सराउंडिंग एंड हाउ इट कूल डाउन सराउंडिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ evapotranspiration right with the help of evap evapotranspiration they can cool down the surrounding areas so this is why the green cover plays a major role in regulating heat transpiration is a natural way of heat regulation this line is very 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 important huh? transpiration is a natural way of heat regulation this is the scientific process of roots absorbing water from the soil so roots absorbing water from the soil storing it in the leaves and stems of plants before processing it and releasing it in the form of water vapor so water from the soil will enter into plant through reed, roots this water will be stored by the leaves and the stem and once the work of that water is done that that water will leave or that water will evaporate and that is known as evapo transpiration we call that evapo transpiration is that clear is that clear to everyone yes so number 1 why why are cities hotter than rural areas because rural areas have relatively larger green cover because green cover plays a major role in regulating heat because transpiration is a natural way of heat regulation let's go ahead on the contrary urban areas lack sufficient green cover or gardens and are often developed with high rise buildings roads parking spaces pavements and transit route for public transport as a result heat regulation is either completely absent to very important why urban areas experience urban heat island effect because heat regulation is either completely absent 
or heat regulation is man made how we regulate heat or how heat regulation can be man made so you know ki when it comes to when it comes to cooling hum kya use karte ac तो अर्बन एरियाज में जो भी हीट रेगुलेशन होता है दैट इज डन बाय द एसी और फैन ग्रीन कवर ने जो करना चाहिए वो हम आर्टिफिशियली करते बाय यूजिंग एसी एंड फैन नाउ सी अगेन दिस दिस लाइन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ब्लैक और एनी डार्क कलर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट एब्सॉर्ब ऑल वेवलेंथ दैट्स वाई इफ यू आर लिविंग इन अर्बन एरिया इफ यू आर लिविंग इन अर्बन आईलैंड स्ट्रक्चर तो डोंट यूज एनीथिंग विच इज ब्लैक इन कलर सो ब्लैक और एनी डार्क कलर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट एब्सॉर्ब ऑल वेवलेंस ऑफ लाइट एंड कन्वर्ट दैम टू हीट दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम सी सनलाइट इज नॉट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम इज द एरिया सर्फेस इज दैट कन्वर्ट सनलाइट इन टू हीट वो मेन प्रॉब्लम है ठीक है वाइल्ड व्हाइट रिफ्लेक्ट तो ब्लैक एब्सॉर्ब ऑल वेवलेंस ऑफ लाइट एंड व्हाइट रिफ्लेक्ट ऑल वेवलेंस ऑफ लाइट okay cities usually have buildings constructed with glass bricks cement and concrete all of which are dark colored materials meaning they attract and absorb higher heat content now water cannot flow easily through via them aur ye sab surfaces hai ab dekho jo green cover hota hai does water flowing the, through that green cover yes see water is traveling from ग्राउंड वॉटर और सॉइल इन टू द ट्री और प्लांट एंड फ्रॉम प्लांट थ्रू इट इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू द प्लांट एंड देन इट इज रिलीजिंग वी आर रिलीजिंग इट इन टू द एटमोस्फियर बट कॉन्क्रीट के बिल्डिंग में ऐसा कोई वॉटर का फ्लो होता है क्या नहीं होता राइट दैट्स वाई देर इज अ लैक ऑफ हीट रेगुलेशन देर इज नो हीट रेगुलेशन रेगुलेटिंग मेकेनिज्म सो वॉटर कैन नॉट फ्लो इजिली थ्रू और वाया दैम विदाउट अ साइकल ऑफ फ्लोइंग एंड इवेपरेटिंग वॉटर these surfaces have nothing to cool them down aapne agar older time ke alag alag palaces dekhe hoge to wahan pe water flow mechanism exist karte the you can find them in many indian uh, ancient indian cities okay or i will show you amer Port water flow mechanism, so that they can keep the temperature cooler in the fort because this Amer fort is located in Rajasthan, right? So the to keep palaces cooler, उन्होंने ऐसे ही water flow के लिए structure बना रखे थे so that their palace can remain cooler. Okay, so wherever you want to reduce the temperature it is very very important that water is, water should flow through these structures then only you can maintain the temperature aur jo concrete ke jungle hai hamare wahan pe water flow nahi hota and that is a problem so cities usually have buildings constructed with glass bricks cement and concrete all of which are dark colored materials meaning they attract and absorb higher heat content plus cities also do not have any structure through which water can flow so water cannot flow easily through or via them then without a cycle of flowing and evaporating water these surfaces have nothing to cool them down and that's why the average temperature of these surfaces in the urban area increases because they re retain heat and when they retain heat they convert urban areas into urban heat islands okay then heat is also released by numerous human activities like vehicles factories household appliances and they release heat in the environment and they cause increase in the temperature aur aap dekhoge rural area mein zyada vehicle hoti hai urban area mein obviously more vehicles are present in rural areas more factories are present in rural areas more household appliances are present in urban areas sorry so all all these three things are mainly present in urban areas rural areas do not have more vehicles do not have factories and people in rural rural areas do not use household appliances that's why urban heat island effect is more 
visible in urban areas and that's why we call this urban heat island effect okay now what is the impact of urban heat island it is natural if the temperature in your house or in your surrounding is more so you are going to use artificial mechanisms which will reduce the temperature that is ac to isse kya hoga power oblique energy costs will increase that increases energy cost example for air conditioning then because because you are using more energy and more ac so that will lead to air pollution increase in air pollution that will also lead uh, urban heat island will lead to heat related illnesses and increased mortality to ye sare ke sare problem ho jayenge agar ha urban heat island impact aapko visible hoga ya dikhne lagega then what is other impact of urban heat island another impact of urban heat island is poor water and air quality as there are more pollutants they are blocked from scattering and becoming less toxic by the urban landscape what happens in urban areas you have high rise buildings and when there are high rise buildings when there are high rise buildings so obviously uh, movement of air will be uh, uh, like move, air cannot move from one place to another place right so ye movement of air jab stop hoti hai to usse kya hoga now pollutant that are generated in urban areas these pollutants cannot travel from one place to another so they will remain at one place so more and more pollutants will be created more and more pollutants will be generated and these more and more pollutant will create or increase the concentration of pollutant so poor air quality then as well as poor water quality then warm water obviously if you are in urban areas the temperature of water bodies will increase in urban areas so warm water from urban heat islands stresses the native species that have adapted to life in a cooler aquatic environment so urban heat island may lead to the extinction of the native species who used to stay in colder areas so power and energy cost poor water and poor air quality Uh, extinction of the local species then colonization by heat loving species obviously agar koi local species uh, extinct ho rahi hai to that local species will be that local species will be replaced by the heat loving species like lizard and geckos that's why you will find ki in every house you can find house lizard but if you go to rural areas in rural areas you will mainly find birds because rural areas are cooler but in urban areas you will mainly find find house lizard because they are reptile and they can they are mainly they belong to the higher temperature regions and geckos do you want to see how exactly gecko looks abhi dikha dete hai aapko mokha ato हम दिखा देंगे गेको कैसे दिखता है इट इज लाइक हाउस लिजार्ड ओनली दिस इज द गेको इट्स कूल ना सो मेनी कलर सो मेनी ऑप्शन टू चूज फ्रॉम नहीं ये कलर पसंद नहीं मुझे ये वाला दे दो दिस इज द गेको सो दीज आर हीट लविंग स्पीसीज एंड देयर पॉपुलेशन विल इंक्रीज इन अर्बन एरियाज वेयर they are experiencing urban heat island effect then it is very very important uh, guys even you can use this in your locality insects such as ants are more abundant here than in rural areas these are referred to as ectotherms if the population of ants is increasing in your area it means the temperature of your area is increasing it is that simple so ant is an indicator species ant is an indicator species that indicates whether your area is turning into urban heat island or not or whether the average temperature of your area is increasing or decreasing then jaise narendra sharma sir ne aapko heat wave padhaya hai maine bola tha aapko to heat wave are one of the impact or heat wave is larger urban heat island effect heat waves they affect human and animal health leading to exhaustion dehydration and increased mortality rate so see 
what are the impacts of urban heat island power and energy cost poor water and air quality uh, then uh, extinction of the species colonization by new species and heat wave that leads to negative impact on human uh, impact on human and animal health such as exhaustion dehydration and increased mortality let's go ahead now how can urban heat island effect be reduced how we can reduce it number one sabse badhiya kaam kya kariye increase green cover in urban areas but you already covered all the land with the concrete jungle so how you are going to increase the green cover so you can do this terrace and kitchen garden bana lo theek hai to first by increasing green cover wherever there is a open space fill that open space with trees and plants then appropriate choice of construction material instead of using construction material which is dark in color or which is black in color use construction material which is light in color or white in color plus ensure if it is possible ensure to create some mechanism through which water can flow that helps to reduce the heat then promoting terrace and kitchen gardens painting white or light colors on the terraces wherever possible to reflect heat i will show you इस तरह के बहुत सारे इनिशिएटिव कुछ स्टेट्स ने या कुछ सिटीज ने किए हैं ओके हियर टेरिस इज नॉट शोन बट जो आपका फ्लोर होता है ना ऊपर का छत उसे आप व्हाइट कलर दे सकते हो फाइन that will help you to reduce the temperature of your home so this is what we can do to deal with urban heat island effect so here we are done with the urban heat island effect i will explain you in a short uh, why we are discussing urban heat island because on 15th of may 2022 two parts or two areas in delhi experienced close to 50 degree celsius temperature what is uh, what is urban heat island effect though our simple meaning of it is urban areas experience more temperature compared to rural areas uh, that is urban heat island effect why it happens because urban areas have dark roads and asphalt parking lots that retain heat urban areas have dark rooftop that retain heat urban areas lack trees which helps to cool down the air and surrounding by evapotranspiration and providing shade then urban areas have heat Uh, trapped by buildings then west also or west heat is also generated by factories buildings and vehicles and there are some impermeable surfaces jahan pe water absorb nahi hoga water moisture ke form mein hold nahi hoga to cooling nahi hogi to urban areas number 1 they trap heat and number 2 they do not have any mechanism to remove that heat from the surfaces that's why they experience higher temperature compared to rural areas and that is known as urban heat island effect this observation is also given by nasa's eco stress which is a type of radiometer that measures temperature of the earth surface and not the temperature of our air okay so these red patches can be found uh, nearby delhi uh, by the uh, by nasa's eco stress radiometer so what is urban heat island effect it is local temporary uh, phenomenon in which certain pockets within a city experience higher heat load because these areas are made up of heat trapping structures and the average temperature jo uh, zyada hota hai na it is between 3 to 5 degree celsius why rural areas do not uh, experience urban heat island effect because they have larger green cover which plays a major role in regulating heat and uh, that's it so heat regulation is very very important when it comes to urban heat island effect what are the impact of uhi power and energy cost poor water quality poor air quality warm water that leads to extinction of local species colonization by heat loving species and increased heat waves that have negative impact on human and animal health okay now i am going to explain you, you in short what is osiris rex mission this osiris rex mission is only important for your preliminary examination and not for your mains examination so number 1 see this is our solar system this is sun 
these three are inner planet number 1 mercury number 2 venus and number 3 uh, earth and number 4 mars these four are known as inner planet then after mars you can find asteroid belt it is a belt made up of small rocky objects or fir outer planets aati hai number 1 jupiter number 2 saturn number 3 uranus and number 4 neptune so these are the eight planets that can be found in uh, our solar system so this asteroid belt contains rocky objects small rocky objects one of that rocky object is known as bennu so bennu is the name of asteroid okay which is present in asteroid belt so nasa's osiris rex what is the long form of osiris origin o for origin s for spectral i for interpretation r for resource i for identification s for security r for regolith and x for explorer so origin spectral interpretation resource identification security lego regolith explorer it is a space craft and it is going to travel near earth asteroid bennu okay and is bringing a small sample back to earth for study so simple meaning is that osiris rex is a mission launched by nasa to study bennu which is a near earth asteroid and this mission will visit bennu asteroid and it will bring back small sample of the soil from this osiris as uh, from this bennu asteroid so this mission was launched in 2016 and it will uh, it reached the bennu surface uh, bennu asteroid ke surface pe already pahunch gaya hai in 2018 and in next year it will bring back the sample of the bennu asteroid to earth that is in 2023 now how uh, how exactly this uh, mission will help us q year osiris rex mission launch kiya hai see when we study the asteroid belt or objects in asteroid uh, asteroid belt that help us to understand the evolution of universe because these are the these asteroids are present there since the birth of the universe that's why we are studying uh, asteroids okay so these observations yaha aap dekh sakte ho these observations give new insight into how asteroids like bennu respond to energetic impacts the research was supported by nasa under the new frontiers program remember new frontiers program is a program launched by nasa and the osiris rex participating scientist program canadian space agency french space agency Italian Space Agency and European Horizon 2020. तो इस Bennu program में या इस Osiris Rex mission अब देखो मैं short में बता देता हूँ. Osiris Rex mission is launched by NASA in 2016. The objective of this mission is to visit Bennu, which is a near Earth asteroid, and bring back sample from this Bennu asteroid. so our osiris rex mission has already reached bennu in 2018 and it will bring back that sample in 2023 this program was supported by nasa under its own new frontiers program along with nasa canadian italian french and european space agencies are also helping to study the asteroid bennu and to bring back the samples from the asteroid bennu तो ये शॉर्ट में आपको प्रीलिम्स के लिए बता दिया तो टुडे वी स्पोक अबाउट अर्बन हीट आइलैंड इफेक्ट वी स्पोक अबाउट ऑसरिस रेक्स मिशन ऑफ नासा टू स्टडी बेन्यू एस्टेरॉइड इन कोलैबोरेशन विद फ्रांस इटली एंड कनाडा एंड यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी सो दैट्स इट फॉर द डे गाइस इफ यू वांट पीडीएफ ऑफ दीस नोट्स यू नीड टू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस टेलीग्राम चैनल लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू आवर YouTube चैनल ऑफ IQ Civil Science Academy a great coach transforms life we are starting new batches from 16th august and 22nd august so it is my earnest request to you ki as soon as possible call on this number and book your seat by registering uh, on iq civil science academies offline and if uh, offline batches in guwahati and if you are in not if you are not in guwahati the online batches of iq civil science academy at, uh, across india so you can register for any of them offline and online numbers are given below so that's it from my side guys thank you very much bye bye take care sayonara see you soon